Hello again, thanks for joining me. Um, today I'm going to be opening a package. Um, I ordered this on a Sunday night. Um, it came this morning on Tuesday, which is they got basically they got the order on Monday, they shipped it, and it came this morning. But I got up this morning, I checked the post at just after 11, which is when the uh, the postman usually comes about 10, and it wasn't here. So I gave up, I thought, well, it ain't going to come today. And then I had to go out this evening about half six, and I've, I've gone out, and, it, and uh, there it is, this package come in the post. So it must have come late, and I didn't hear him come. So I've been sat in all day doing bits and pieces. And this has been waiting for me and I didn't know, so, oh well, these things happen. But yes, I've been out, it's now quite late, half 11. I'm going to do a video on the, un the un unboxing. I did want to show, just for anyone that's got one of these Swiss Army knives, um, this is actually the parachutist version, because it's got the, uh, the seatbelt cutter there. Um, different versions were made with different, some had saws and scissors and this has just got the screwdriver, screwdriver, can open a bottle opener, big blade, parachute, screwdriver and an awl and tweezers, uh, tweezers and toothpick, obviously. I just want to show just so, I've just noticed because I've just been checking my, uh, my close-up, how my close-up's working and I've just noticed just there uh, where the liner lock, liner, liner lock is. I've never noticed that before. It actually says press. Yeah, and there's a there's another locking blade here. There's the big screwdriver. And yeah, it says press there. Both sides. So I've never noticed that before. I've had this knife quite a while. I have it in my pocket most days. So it's... It says press, so you're pressing the liner lock. As you can see, you press the liner lock and that opens and closes. But anyway, we'll skip across that. Most people know what a liner lock is. So I'm just going to use this to open this package. So, so yeah, thanks Mr. Postman for bringing it today. Um, I pity I didn't, re pity I didn't realize that it had uh, been delivered. But anyway, I'm hoping it is what it is. Let's have a look. What have we got? Don't need that. Right, so we've got, oh, well, that says it all, doesn't it? So it's a spider cow. There we go. Spider cow in the box. Right, we'll have a look at this. This is from. This is bought in the UK. It was 20, 22 pounds, including shipping. Two pound, uh, two pound post and packing, twenty one ninety five. I can show you that there. Oh, I'll show you that there. Uh, post and packaging, twenty one ninety five. And this came from in the UK. So I did try getting one off eBay, but of course, when you go and try and buy it and you commit to buy it, it says red, red, red. You cannot buy off eBay if you live in the UK, so what's a bummer? So, obviously, they were selling it for £13.70 plus three quid delivery, £16.70. But I've ended up paying 22 quid, but what can you do? So, this is where I've got, got mine from E33. .co.uk and I believe from the website and etc etc this is uh, the UK website for Heine.com that's H-E-I-N-N-E -N -N -E or something Heine.com uh, yeah I'm not quite sure about that but the website layout is exactly the same um, it's, and I like using it because they, they've got PayPal um, I like paying my PayPal, which 
I've had a couple of bad deals in the past and I've, I've always got my money back. So PayPal is recommended. You put a resolution in and it's up to them to prove you, you, prove you received the goods and they can't pretty much. But obviously you shouldn't be dishonest in your, in your, in your dealings, you know. Right, so here we've got a little box. So we can read what that says. It's actually the company that's billed me is Lorax Limited. Spyderco Kiwi 3 Stainless you can uh, make out there. So we know what it is. Although well, we knew what it was anyway, didn't we? And that's just a uh, barcode reference. Quite a nice little box actually. It's got a nice, a nice texture to it. We'll just pick that up on the camera. It really has got quite a nice... I don't know, it's almost leather. Maybe it is leather. Or mock leather anyway. Right, let's uh let's open the box and see what's inside. I mean to be honest with you, this is actually my first spider co. I've watched a lot of videos and uh I do like that spider co logo. Very cool, very recognisable as well, unique. So you see that, you know what you're getting. So there's the lid. And here's the knife. I'm actually quite chuckled because I've been out tonight and as I said on my way out I realised it had come. And I couldn't, didn't really want to take it out with me un, unwrapped. I didn't want to unwrap it because I wanted to do a video of unwrapping it. So I've been out tonight and half my mind's been on. Oh yeah I've got that spider coat aim to open. So anyway here it is, it's a uh, spider coat kiwi. There we go. Well, there's definitely some uh, tarnishing of some sort on there. This is supposed to be clean out of the box brand new. Put that piece of, piece of plastic out of the way. Let me just zoom in a bit. Let's wait for the camera to wake up. Now, you can definitely see there's some sort of tarnishing or and there, I mean, I'm looking at this through the camera and it looks pretty bad, doesn't it? I mean, you know, as long as it's, uh, it functions and does as it's um, supposed to, I'm not that bothered, to be honest, because I've already got plans. I've already got plans for what I'm going to do with the handle. I'm not going to leave it plain stainless steel. Get a close up of that spider co logo. Ah. Yeah, it's roughly a uh, polish, it's satin finish, I think they probably call that. But it's not high gloss, satin finish. Uh, so we'll have a look at the knife now. I'll just zoom out a little bit. Right, um. I haven't actually got the, uh, the specs with me. They usually give you the specs then, yeah? Anyway, I can pretty much do that from memory. Um, I think it's three and three eighths closed. There to there, three and three eighths. We'll, we'll open it up. Oh, that's quite stiff. That has got a very, very strong slip joint there. Get to about there and it stops. From about there it's going. So anything over that and you, your finger's all right, maybe. It's still quite stiff. Obviously this first time it's been opened. It's locked in place. Uh, this is actually um, 8CR. 13, excuse me, 8CR13 MOV, camera will get it, come on, so you've got 8CR13 MOV, which is a cheaper steel, it's a, a mid-range steel, but it is an ample steel for just everyday cutting tasks, you know, it'll hold an edge decent, it'll take an edge decent, as long as you're not using it hard every day, you know, it, you don't need to sharpen it that often. 
I mean, this is a sort of, we call it a gentleman's pocket knife. That, um, you know, you just use for opening letters and putting boxes and tape and string and maybe cleaning your nails with or, God knows, maybe getting splinters out, I think someone said once. Yeah, so we've got Spyderco 8CR13 MOV. That's 8 parts chromium or something to 13 parts uh, molly vanadium. Different, different, uh, different metals are added to steel to give it different characteristics, hardness or, you know, uh, resistance to this or, you know, salt proof, waterproof, uh, holding edge longer, different, different metals for different tasks and different jobs. But for an everyday knife, HCR13, as far as I know, is a more than capable metal. And as you can see there, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, it's China. But it's, uh, you know, it is all Spyderco. You've got the Spyderco hold and the Spyderco logo. Got, yeah, it's a nice stainless steel little knife. So we we'll, we'll just zoom out again for you. There we go. So as you can see, I think this is the preferred hold. You have that in there. That finger for me goes there, and those two go there quite nicely. So yeah, one finger, two finger more or less in there, and that finger is more or less. So it, doesn't quite pull any. I mean, if I hold it as you're supposed to hold it, yes, it goes into my hand very nicely. The two rear fingers onto that flat bit at the back. My middle finger goes in there. My little finger goes in there. I've watched quite a few videos, and uh, everyone says it feels so so lovely in the hand. And I must admit, just as you grip it and hold it, and as you would. It does feel quite solid, to be honest. Um, yeah, so it was, uh, you said three and three eighths from there to there. The cutting edge, the actual cutting edge, I believe, is two and a half. Might be two and a quarter inch, and then from the end of the blade to the, the beginning of the, well, the start of the cutting edge to begin with the blade. So it's technically that's the beginning of the blade or that uh, that was a quarter inch so that's two and a quarter inch and that's th three and a bit because it's five and three eighths in total i think so yeah it's lovely little knife actually it feels really nice in the end i've uh, i've got plans to do something with the scales so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that yet so yeah hope you had a good look nice warm cliff i think they're calling it a modified warm cliff but and you got the spidey hole. And uh, yeah, slip joints. So let's uh, see how easily it closes. Obviously, one of the best, one of the features about this knife is if you do knock the spine, if you do knock the spine with your finger being in there, it literally does. You'd really have to whack that somewhat rotten. And all that's happening is my finger's getting squashed in that little gap there. So it gets knocked, even with quite a force there. Okay, it'll pinch your finger, but it isn't going to cut your finger, which is probably a good good thing actually. The slip joint, yeah. What can we say about that? Well, uh, we'll just have a quick look at that. So obviously that goes around. This spring comes up ever so slightly, but it's not actually a lock back. But it is quite a good good hold when I'm pushing you know you have to push down reasonably hard for it to sort of move so I'll just zoom out again right I've just noticed uh, 14 minutes and a bit so maybe I've waffled a bit maybe you've had a nice look at the knife um, I've shown you where you can get it from what price in the UK uh, obviously they're cheaper in America but um, I'm gonna, I've got some things to cut to see what how sharp it is out of the box. So I'll make a part two. Um, come back, come back in a minute and, and, and watch that. Thanks.